Investigation tonight after uh, police say a teenager escaped the juvenile justice intervention center. Police say he carjacked someone near LSU's dental school shortly after his escape. Ashlyn Brothers joins us with details. Megan Lee, a law enforcement source, tells us Carlos Taylor is no stranger to the juvenile justice system, calling him a repeat offender. Our source also saying Taylor was 16 years old when he allegedly committed the crimes that got him arrested last week. You're looking at the latest teenager to escape the Juvenile Justice Intervention Center. That's according to the NOPD, who identified Monday after news escapee as Carlos Taylor, who turned 17 last Tuesday. Police say Taylor carjacked someone near the LSU School of Dentistry on Florida Avenue around the same time he escaped. Campus is usually really safe. LSU Health New Orleans says a woman was waiting in the car during her child's dental appointment when an unarmed individual approached her, demanding her keys. They say the woman complied and the individual drove off with her car. Students received this alert notifying them of the incident at the school's patient parking lot too. It is very strange. I, I would guess that it had to be something that was just like spur of the moment and there was like a, a small window of opportunity for it to happen. Rashonda Gray says she and fellow classmates decided to walk in groups to their cars as a result. In a statement, LSU Health New Orleans went on to say it's committed to ensuring everyone's safety and security, adding it's aiding the victims and it's deployed additional security to the area. You never expect that like campus police are always riding around. They're always circling the parking lot. The NOPD says officers arrested Taylor last Friday on charges of aggravated assault with the firearm, among other weapon charges. Fox 8 learned Taylor was arrested earlier this month by the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office for possession of stolen property. He was turned over two days later to the NOPD on unrelated charges. It is heartbreaking to find out that it was someone that young, like so many crimes are being committed by people that young. A law enforcement source tells Fox 8 Taylor escaped from another jail when he was 12 years old. We've reached out to the JJIC and the Office of Juvenile Justice requesting more details about what led up to the escape. We're waiting to hear back. If you see Taylor, you're asked to call police.